Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. We're in the week of prayer for Christian unity and so I thought it would be nice to draw together all of the ministers in training at CBC who have worked with me through the years and this is all of us. It's an exciting moment. <laughs> Okay. Yes. yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for a bit more energy. I'm loving it. It's brilliant. <laughs> um, this is lovely. So thank you so much for, for joining me on the call and for, for sharing with everybody who's watching today as well. Um, folks, I'm just going to invite you to, to share some prayer points with us. Um, perhaps you could tell us where you're serving now and how we can be praying for you, particularly being the week of prayer for Christian unity. Uh, why don't we start with you, Laura? Okay, so I'm Laura uh, Moncaster, and I left um, CBC as the minister in training and came to Elsham Baptist Church, where I still am. Um, and we would really appreciate um, prayer for um, that we would continue to draw closer together. And um, we've been using Zoom for our services and actually lots of people have found that we have drawn closer together as a church family but we're also really in a season of seeing the power of prayer seeing answers to prayer for each other um, and for, for those around us and so pray that that would continue that our drive um, for prayer and to see the power of prayer would continue and um, for Renew 61 um, which is currently online um, and seems to be working well online and, and but for, for more people to perhaps connect and engage with that from the community. Mm. Um, and then finally, in June, it's my sabbatical. Um, and so pray for me um, at, during that time, but also for, for the church and for Rachel as she potentially steps up a little bit um, and takes over some of the, the things in the, in the church. So they are our three. Great. Laura, thank you. Doug, how about you? Uh, hi, I'm Doug Waller, and uh, I was the minister in training at CBC five years ago. Uh, I left there and uh, became uh, a co-pastor at Woodbridge Key Church. And then three years ago, uh, I moved to become the, the lead pastor here. Um, we, we've been going through similar things that many of you have been going through in terms of moving everything online. Um, just before we, we entered the whole pandemic, we had called a family's minister uh, to the church, Guy Mansell. And uh, so uh, one of the things that we would really appreciate prayer for is, is what happens when all of this starts to come to an end in terms of how family ministry is going to develop and hopefully grow uh, under Guy, uh, but also how we can be responsive to the needs of people uh, when things are begin to open up. We recognise that this pandemic has affected people in lots of ways. We've got Ipswich Hospital that is just down the road from us. Um, so there are numerous ways in which we can hopefully support our community. So, uh, so that's what we would like prayer for. Great. Thank you, Doug. And finally, Tom. Hello. Um, yes, I'm Tom. Uh, I left Canterbury last August, having done my three years as minister in training there. And I've come starting in November um, to Swellcliffe uh, uh, Free Church Baptist, uh, which is in Whitstable. Um, it's been very strange coming uh, to a new church and starting a new thing in the middle of a pandemic. Um, I've only had one service uh, in the building since I've been here. Um, but that's been great in itself, I think, just to connect to the church in a different way. Um, so if you could just pray, uh, pray that we are able to get to know each other as a congregation uh, and become a part of that community. Um, and then also pray for how we go forward once the pandemic's um, complete uh, in terms of what groups to run. Um, my heart is for children and young people, for example. We don't have any children and young people apart from my own in the church. And I'd love I'd love uh, prayer for discernment about how we could get families uh, into our church on a regular basis. Uh, and then the other thing is mental health. Um, came out of a meeting of other ministers in Whitstable. There's a big mental health vacuum everywhere, um, but we believe there's going to be even more of a mental health issue, social isolation issue um, after this. Um, and we want to be in the midst of that and, and kind of using our God-given gifts um, to be servants of that. So 
if you could pray for us um, that we work out the best way to do that uh, and really get known in this community um, as people that walk with walk with Christ and um, also serve um, those that we love in our community. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, so much. And I invite anyone watching this to, to, to join in prayer for, for Doug, Tom and Laura. Um, we're going to, to pray now. I'm going to invite Rachel to pray first and then I'll draw our time together with closing prayer. Thanks, Rachel. Father, I just give thanks for each one of these ministers that's serving or has served at CBC. And we thank you for a church that um, trains ministers and sends them out. Um, and we just give thanks and pray that will continue to happen if that's your will. Pray for Laura and Elsham Baptist Church. Um, and I give thanks that I can be a part of, of that church where there's just so much potential um, and such a sense of community and care at this difficult time. And just give thanks for that community and the sense of unity in the church for all ages. And we just give thanks for prayers answered. There have been some real answers to prayer recently. There's stories of a premature baby putting on amazing amounts of weight really quickly after we've prayed. And we just give thanks for that. And Lord, we ask for more answers to prayer at Elsham Baptist Church, that real miraculous um, breakthrough, that, we would, that people would know it was you, not the coincidence, that we would see your hand on that church in more and more mighty and powerful ways. I just bring before you Renew 61. Thank you for the people that attend and how beneficial they found it. And we pray for more people to attend, people who would really benefit and it would be healing for them. Give Laura wisdom how to run it, whether online or in person, or both. You'll have your hand on that ministry and we pray for Laura's sabbatical, Lord, that you would give wisdom for them how to approach that, particularly Laura, where to go, what to do, whatever she does, it will be a real time of growth and healing and just quality time of prayer as well. We just continue to ask you to pour out your spirit on this church. We pray for Doug at Woodbridge and we give thanks for um, his development that he's gone from being a co-pastor to a pastor, the lead pastor over the last few years, that there's a family minister. I just pray, Lord, that you would continue to pour out your wisdom upon him in terms of how to be responsive in this community, how to meet the needs of the community around that area, that as they emerge from COVID, that there would just be clear discernment and wisdom as to what um, to offer and what not to offer in terms about what to drop. And I just pray you would give him a clear discernment about what to do, but what also what not to do. Um, and just lead and guide him so clearly in that, how to meet the needs and how to be unique, what particular calling his church has and how it would be unique to the others in the area. And I pray for Tom and just give thanks that he's got this position at 12 Cliff and it's so new. There's so much potential there. It feels like he's right on the cusp of something um, big that is going to change the community. And we just pray into his vision for children and youth and mental health. Um, would you lead and guide him in all of that? And again, we pray for discernment, what to offer, how to offer it, when to offer it. Um, and we just pray that the church would love Tom and Kathy and the children. Um, and that they would get to know each other and form that sense of unity that we're talking about today. We just pray for that unity in Swellcliff, led by Tom and Kathy. Mm. Um, and that you would grow that church, you would prosper that church and pour out your blessings on it. I just pray for, for all, including CBC, Lord, that you would pour out your spirit on all these churches, that you would give wisdom in bucketfuls, you would give divine discernment as to how to move forward. Um, especially as we move out of COVID. And it just feels like a real time of transition right now. And I just pray we would all hear your voice so clearly that we would not miss what you're doing. Even though it may be different for each church, I pray we would not miss your voice, that we would hear your truth so clearly amongst all the lies the enemy has brought us. Just pray protection over all the families, all the children. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Father God, we thank you so much for one another. Mm. And we thank you for calling each one of us 
to serve you in in full-time, part-time Christian ministry. And we thank you for the different responsibilities that you have given us in different parts of the country now. Thank you for the privilege of serving with one another and for the relationship that exists between us and particularly with Canterbury Baptist Church. And we, we thank you for this church. We thank you for the way in which it identifies, trains and sends people mm -hmm. for ministry. And we ask in these challenging times for, for church leaders that you would bless each one of us. You would encourage each one of us. You would, by your spirit, help us to remain in you, Lord Jesus, to hear your voice and to know how you best want to use us to serve the, the people whom you've called us to serve both within and outside of our churches. Mm. Uh, Lord, we ask that you would sustain us and encourage us that we would know your strength as we lead your people. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lord, as we as we also have roles to play within our own families, we, we pray, Lord, we bring our households and our families before you. And we ask, Lord, keep us together. Mm -hmm. Fill us with your spirit. May our homes be full of joy and laughter. Mm -hmm. And may you be at the center of everything that we do. Mm -hmm. Lord, thank you again for this time together. Pour out your blessing upon us, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, thank you so much, everyone. And uh, let me just say on behalf of the church, we're so grateful to God for, for each one of you. And, and I'm, I'm grateful to God for the opportunity I've had to, to work with you and to um, do something, I hope, to encourage and support you. In your in your walk with God as well as your work in ministry so God bless you Thank and you. hope to see you in person sooner rather than later bless you, bless you. Thank Thank you. <laughs>